right, there's uh, your buddy, new daddy, Jordan Cunningham, out shoveling tonight. I feel guilty, except he is a new daddy, and he needs to work out those triceps. Exactly. So he, uh, he has a baby to hold, so yeah. good thing he's doing, doing uh, some good work on the shovel. Yeah, well, uh, not uh, outside, uh, and it's a good thing, but inside getting ready with uh, some soccer news, Mark. Yeah, it's a good thing it is indoors, Hudson. These obviously not ideal playing conditions for, say, the Vancouver Island Soccer League, but snowy weather will not play a factor in the 2012 CONCACAF Olympic Qualifying Tournament, and that is because this international event is taking place indoors at BC Play Stadium. Starting tomorrow, eight teams compete for two spots to represent their country at the London Summer Games. And leading Canada into battle once again, BC Zone, Christine Sinclair. Our previous couple qualification tournaments have been in Mexico, and we know how difficult that has been, you know, playing in front of the, their fans. So it's nice to to have, you know, to be playing in front of your friends and family and having them cheering for you and against the other team. So it's, a, you know, we're going to embrace it. Well, Canada is currently ranked seventh in the world and expected to emerge as the top team in Group A. Haiti, Cuba and Costa Rica round out the four teams in Canada's pool. The 2011 World Cup was disappointing for Sinclair and company, but the Canadian captain dusted her team off and led them to their first ever soccer goal at the Pan Am Games this fall. Now, it won't be easy to finish first at this Olympic qualifying tournament. It's because the world's top-ranked Americans have designs on doing that, led by goalkeeper and Dancing with the Stars contestant, Hope Solo. Canada is a physical, brutal team to play. Um, you know, I think they have a lot to prove after, you know, I think they had high hopes to have gone further in the World Cup this last summer. Um, and they have a lot to prove, and I think they're a great team who should have gone further. Um, so I think the Olympics could be a, a huge turning point for them, um, but they're not easy to play. They, they have the fight, they have the passion, um, of course they have the skill, but it's going to be a bloodbath and it always usually is when you play a team like Canada. Vikes women's head coach Tracy David has lined up against Team USA on more than one occasion. She even beat them. David is a member of the Canadian Soccer Hall of Fame and played on the 1986 women's national team. She's coached some of the players on this year's squad, including Canadian goalkeeper Aaron McLeod. David wouldn't mind seeing Team Canada emerge from the shadows of the top-ranked Americans at the Olympic qualifier. We are neighbors, we have been opponents uh, from day one since 1986. Um, we are arch rivals and bring it on, right? Let the games begin and let's just see who is the best on the day. We have to get there first and so do they. And no matter how we like to predict things, it is soccer and the strangest things happen in our game. So, you know, the most important thing is you take one game at a time and you take the first game in your pool, you get through that game, and until you do, you don't move on. So it's one game at a time. Yeah, that's how the Vikes do it. It's not every day that a world-class soccer tournament takes place in Coach David's backyard. So, of course, she will be traveling to the mainland to take in some of the action this weekend. Next weekend, she will take her Vikes team with her. For the semifinals, I will take the uh, University of Victoria Vikes women's soccer team to uh, partake in the semifinals. I think it's an, a glorious opportunity for those young women, those student athletes, to see, uh, you know, the best in the world, and, um, and we're looking forward to it. The other thing that we should mention is Jacqueline Sawicki. Jacqueline Sawicki certainly has been a member of the uh, under-20 national program. It's great for her to be able to see uh, the uh, the world, the Olympic team playing because one day, hopefully, she's going to be playing on that. Let's hope so. One game at a time and game one is tomorrow as Canada faces Haiti. Saturday they will face off against Cuba and Monday it's Costa Rica. Tracy David and the Vikes taking in the semifinals on next Friday the 27th and hopefully we will see Canada in that final matchup on Sunday quite likely facing Team USA. Well, it was a good day down under for Vancouver Island cyclist Ryder Hedgedahl. He's leading Team Garmin Barracuda at the Tour Down Under in Adelaide, Australia and moved up to 38th in the general classification after a strong showing in today's stage two. Tomorrow is the third of six stages and features three major climbs.